2.15 in the afternoon and the sun is setting over Warnofsky Island. Can you see me? Whoa, can you see me? Hi, can, can you see me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh shit. Hi, so I am out here, it is freezing cold. Um, I'm in my coverall get up. Uh, because I am going to go downstairs and attempt, oh, attempt to clean up, start kind of sorting through the cellar. But right now I'm taking the house compost out to the compost bins. <laughs> Everything's frozen solid. Okie dokie, so I'm in the cellar. I talked about this a few weeks back in a video where I want to clear this all out and get it ready to be a walk-in cooler space. Um, this is just junk that's been here since we first started building the house and we didn't have space to store it and it's been sitting down here mildewing and most of it's probably going to have to go to uh, the landfill. Um, we don't have an operating landfill in town anymore, so it's really just a transfer facility where we take the stuff and then it gets barged down to the lower 48 to get landfilled down there. Uh, I would like to eventually be zero waste and stuff, but I need to just get this stuff out of here now and um, maybe I'll be able to meet that goal at some point. Uh, compost on my food. I've been saving my glass. I have a glass crusher that needs to be modified. <laughs> I've just got boxes and boxes of <laughs> washed glass uh, containers. Um, you know, but it's a start. Um, but I got to get rid of this stuff first. And the transfer facility is not open except for just like a couple hours per day. So today I'm probably just going to go through stuff and then maybe start taking it out there tomorrow. Okay, so I got a pile in the corner there, which is just all gonna have to go to the landfill. Um, some of it is just like, you know, like an old blender, bunch of old spice, jars of spices, old clothes that are all mildewed and crap. Um, so that's all over there. And then I've got a stove an oven that I think that maybe somebody could use. A few doodads here that might be salvageable. And then I've got these bags full of like books that are Tyler's. And so I think maybe I'm gonna have to at some point like inventory them because he doesn't have time to take a look at them and see if there's something we can say, if there's anything he wants there to say. So anyway, that's a start. I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call that good for the day because I know that this load can go out to the transfer facility tomorrow. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this uh, insulation and then this hard insulation here um, is something we might need be able to use. I'll, I'll maybe have Tyler come down for a second and check. Anyway, that's that folks. Alrighty, so I am under the house here and it is garbage day. See those uh, pile of boxes back there? That's all the glass that I've carefully peeled the labels off and washed carefully to go through my little uh, glass crusher, if I could ever get that going. Um, yes, we are getting a little tiny bit of snow, <laughs> but it's still pretty darn cold. It's like 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So anyway, yes, garbage day. So I can't um, get little red truck started. It's not starting and um, the, do the door is for <laughs> is frozen clothes on, on black truck. So, um, okay, so I was able to get the passenger door open. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick the, um, <laughs> the driver's door open. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, folks. <laughs> okay, so it's not starting. It's trying to start. Okay, so now we're back in the little red truck. Poor buddy. 
Okay, dudes, we don't have time to monkey around with the trucks. So we're using white truck instead of um, red truck and black truck. Okay, um, 20 minutes before they close and I'm hopefully not gonna back the truck off the cliff. This is where we dump our dump stuff before they scoop it up and put it on a barge. This is where you can burn brush and um, paper. Paper goes in the big old tank there. Brush goes on that pile there. Oh, things are pretty cleaned out here. Usually it's full of stuff. That's the old landfill right there. Okay, so I need to get some carrots and leeks harvested before it gets dark. Normally I would get a bunch of things harvested before we had a cold snap and just store it in the refrigerator, but I didn't get it done. So now I'm out here after it's been well below freezing for a number of days. Last year we had lots of snow cover for insulation when we had a cold snap, but there's not much out here covering the stuff. I've got leaves and tarps on top of my carrots. I got some leaves and a little bit of plastic on top of my leeks. So we'll see what I can yank out of here. Okay, so the layer of leaves is completely frozen. And then probably an inch or so of soil underneath that is frozen. But then the rest of it is, is fine underneath that. So I was able to get my carrots and I think they're okay. Okay, dudes, so my carrots over there, my tunnel of leeks here, and check this out, man. Um, these were at the edge of the tunnel, and they're frozen down a couple inches. <laughs> so I pulled the whole, whole thing out. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, that's what we got. A few inches frozen. And I don't know when this thaws out, if these are all just gonna rot or if these plants are gonna survive under here. I don't know. I got some other ones that I pulled, you know, kind of at the center of the tunnel, which came out pretty easily. So it'll be interesting to find out if when things thaw out, out here, if carrots and leeks got frozen and then they're just gonna rot or I don't know the carrots look like they're gonna be okay if they've got enough of their little roots in the ground I think that they're gonna be fine maybe the leeks I don't know do you think the leaves will survive this anyway I'm gonna go chisel these leeks out of here and be done with this job Okay, so I thought I would just come down here to the cellar to kind of eyeball things. I didn't have any lights right before I left to go to the landfill. And uh, I totally missed that box in the corner there. But I need to grab that. I need to grab this insulation is going to go. I'll uh, keep the hard insulation. But I'm going to come down here while I'm still in my dirty clothes and look through these last bags of what is mostly books, which are probably ruined, but I just want to kind of inventory them um, to see if Tyler wants to keep them or if I should just dump them. And then if I need to dump them, I think I'm going to go tomorrow again if I can. And uh, yes, I'm going to put my mask on. It's really totally fucking, oh, excuse me, excuse my language. It's uh, musty dusty down here. Okay, that's done. I've got pictures of everything. So, um, I may be able to just uh, clean this room out tomorrow. That'd be pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm back at it again. This time I have a couple hours before the dump closes, so I'm feeling a little less stressed out. Tyler says all this stuff just needs to go. So, that's what's gonna happen. And this, this pile of fiberglass is gonna be interesting how I'm gonna get that on the truck. And uh, yeah, but here we go. Oh, uh -huh. let's see. Okay, folks, my eyeballs are probably gonna fog up. I pulled the trash bags off the boxes that are already on the truck, and that is where I'm gonna stuff the 
fiberglass in here. done here okay dudes this is what's left of the pile of junk and um there's the hard insulation and a few doodads over there in the corner done 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 ish here's a look back at the space from this direction and all of my junk kind of over here in the corner the little tiny bit of junk that's left check it out folks okay you guys so it is super musty fusty in here so I'm gonna get out of here as soon as I can um, but I am super happy to have gotten my cold storage project started finally and got the bulk of the junk out of here after years and years and years and years. Uh, so yes, I'm just gonna wait for Tyler to tell me what to do next, and that's what I'll do. And until then, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>